We will do it the right way alongside law enforcement, who now is more than ever committed to serving Baltimore's residents the way they should have been serving all along. Mayor Brandon Scott's group violence reduction strategy is expanding. The crime prevention plan now makes its way to the Eastern District. Why now? Thank you for joining us. I'm Kai Jackson. And I'm Mary Bubala. The expansion is the latest development in Brandon Scott's crime plan. Fox 45's Mackenzie Frost joins us live in the newsroom with the explanation as to why the mayor says this is the time to move forward with this. Mackenzie? Yeah, Mary and Kai, not only is the mayor talking about his five-year crime plan, which we're about halfway through, and he says he's making some tweaks to it, but he's also calling for the expansion of GVRS. And that decision is raising some questions about why. Thank you to everyone who is here this afternoon for this critical milestone. Mayor Brandon Scott continues to expand his group violence reduction strategy. Around us. We have a whole manner of people who are fully dedicated to making Baltimore safer. This time to the Eastern Police District. GVRS offers an off-ramp for people who have been engaged in a life of crime. The folks who are at the most uh, highest risk of being the victims or perpetrators of gun violence, uh, will, those are the people we'll focus on. Uh, we will be offering services. They will be getting those letters from me that says, hey, this is Mayor Brandon Scott. I know who you are. I know what you do. I want you to stay alive for you and your family. We will give you every resource you can imagine to change your life. We will give you every resource you can imagine to change your life. Mayor Scott says if that help isn't taken, people will face consequences. The Eastern District, though, an area City Council President Nick Mosby acknowledges is already seeing improvement. We've seen progress in East Baltimore without GVRS. With understaffing straining the Baltimore Police Department and Mayor Scott's tight primary just weeks away. Did that factor into the decision to expand it into the Eastern? Yeah, let me first start by saying no, uh, McKenzie. I'll say this once again. I don't play politics with public safety. Other, other folks might choose to do that. You might choose to do that. I'm not. We expand GVRS based on the data, the connectivity of the groups. And when you understand and know public safety in Baltimore, but more importantly, the streets of Baltimore. Anybody will tell you, once you've done the west side, the east side is where you have to go. TVRS is the mayor, the state's attorney, police commissioner, and Monsey. Speaking of that partnership with the state's attorney's office. People are fed up with the state of crime in our city. Baltimore's top prosecutor Ivan Bates notes just how few cases come from GVRS. The mayor has touted over and over and over and over again, GVRS, GVRS, GVRS. GVRS is only 2% of the violent crimes that my office prosecutes. Violent crime, we're working, we're moving in that direction. However, like I said, when it gets to quality of life crime. So, yeah, we, we, our grade is incomplete because we haven't done the rest of the work. Bates not at the news conference with the mayor Monday. Taking a deeper dive into the data, the latest numbers from BPD show some increases in quality of life crimes, like auto thefts and property crimes, especially in the Western Police District, where GVRS was first piloted. From April 7th through April 13th, shootings decreased 25% compared to the previous seven days in the Western District, but robberies increased 17%. Larceny increased 20%. Property crimes went up 39% and auto thefts increased 200%. Thank you all for being here. Back in February, when the mayor first announced the Eastern District was next in the GVRS expansion, political analyst John Deedy said politics could be at play, especially since the violent crime data was trending in the right direction. I think it is a smart political move to do something like this because it's an area that's having fewer problems, which is easier to show success. Meanwhile, Mayor Scott maintains the data is driving his decisions, not his re-election efforts. Now, the goal, according to the mayor's office, is to expand GVRS into the Southern District by the end of this year and then be citywide next year. We're live in the newsroom. Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.